Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Lux Destination. In the world of pawn shops where forgotten treasures and hidden gems lie in wait, an elite league of items commands not just attention but a hefty price tag. Welcome to a realm where historical artifacts, rare collectibles, and astonishing memorabilia find their way into the hands of those with deep pockets and a taste for the extraordinary. Let's embark on a journey through the top dollar deals, unveiling the 8 most expensive Pawn Star items. 8. JFK Sticker Box The sticker box that belonged to President John F. Kennedy during his administration and still contained a few stickers was recently acquired by Pawn Stars, making it one of the most significant items ever. This piece of presidential history was once on JFK's desk in the Oval Office, and the opportunity to obtain it was once-in-a-lifetime chance. The box was sold for $60,000 to the person who brought it to the store, given its value and the prestige associated with it being owned by one of the most revered former presidents of the United States. Number 7. 2014 Hertz Penske GT Mustang Despite being older, cars are typically among the priciest items featured on the show. However, Rick didn't hesitate to spend a substantial amount of money on a 2014 Hertz Penske GT Mustang, which was developed in partnership with Hertz and Roger Penske. The car's rarity made it worth the $60,000 price tag, as it was one of only 10 produced. In 2013, Hertz partnered the businessman and NASCAR team owner Roger Penske to create a limited edition version of the iconic GT Mustang. The result was the 2014 Hertz Penske GT Mustang was with only 150 units ever made. Number 6. 1915 Panama Pacific Octagonal Gold Coin The United States Mint created the 1915 Panama Pacific Octagonal $50 gold coin as a commemorative item for the opening of the Panama Canal, which was showcased at the 1915 Panama Pacific International Exposition. Rick ensured that he obtained the coin when the client offered to pay $70,000 for it. This unique coin is one of its kind, with only one other coin of a round shape. During one of the world's biggest auctions of coins in Atlanta, Rick located and purchased it for $67,500. 5. 1932 Custom Ford Roadster The prevalence of valuable items on pawn stores such as vintage automobiles and antiques indicates that significant sums of money are at play. In one instance, a customer requested a meeting with Rick and Corey Harrison to discuss a striking 1932 Custom Ford Roadster finished in matte black. Despite the owner having spent roughly $140,000 on the vehicle over three years, he was compelled to sell it due to personal circumstances. Rick and Corey engaged in challenging negotiations to acquire the customized Roadster eventually setting on the price of $68,250. A Substantial Profit Number 3. 1941 Gibson SJ200 Guitar Thanks to Stephen Stills of Crosby, Still & Nash, a new guitar was added to the collection of notable instruments. The seller of the expensive guitar presented a certified bill of sale as proof that the renowned folk rock musician had previously owned a guitar. The guitar in question was a remarkable 1941 Gibson SJ200 that had been played by Stills during his time with Crosby, Stills & Nash. The gold and silver pawn shop acquired the guitar from its current owner for a significant sum of $85,000 after verifying the evidence of Stills' ownership and use of the instrument. Number 2. 1961 Gibson SG Lay Paul Guitar Lay Paul is a renowned figure in the realms of electric guitars and rock music, having been one of the original creators and manufacturers of electric guitars. Alongside his wife, Mary Ford, Lay Paul gained notoriety in the 1950s by selling millions of albums and employing the guitars that he himself had designed. A buyer approached Harrison's shop with a custom-built 1961 Gibson Lay Paul guitar, which Les Paul had gifted to his wife, Mary. The seller was initially asking for an exorbitant $200. $50,000 for the instrument. However, the Harrisons were able to negotiate an exceptional deal, eventually acquiring the guitar for $90,000. Number 1. 1932 Lincoln Roadster During the Great Depression, 
The Harrison family spent considerable money on a luxurious Lincoln Roadster, which was kept in impeccable condition. The Roadster was a mint and cream color, boasting a large V12 engine concealed under its massive hood. The family was so impressed with the car that they couldn't resist buying it, despite the high cost. In 1932, Ford, the parent company of Lincoln, introduced the Roadster as a way to lure customers away from rival brand Cadillac. Rick and the old man offered a cash payment to secure the purchase of the 1932 antique automobile with 150 horsepower, which was worth close to $100,000. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.